Hello, and this is the Skoda Kodiak, a car that virtually everyone in the world is in love with. Social influencers, websites, car experts and newspapers. They all say this is amazing. Some of them even say this is one of the best cars in the world. Really? It's named after a bear that lives in Alaska called a Kodiak. Spelt with a K at the end, unlike the Q spelling here, added for legal reasons. They named it after a bear because apparently it likes to go places and explore, and so does this. How far, we'll find out, but for now, let's have a closer look. One of the reasons that it may well be one of the world's best cars is because of practicality. This boot, for instance, is packed with lots of brilliant little ideas. It's also got 720 litres of space, which is one of the biggest when the third row seats are down. You could even get a bear in here. A female, maybe, because I think the, the females are a bit smaller. I like this. This is a moving door protector which comes out oh yeah that'll amuse me that will hours of that clever not seen that before and umbrella not a weapon it's an umbrella although it's pretty no it's packed with tons of lovely little ideas for instance it's so easy to put the seats down there's a little pulley you just pull that and if you want to move them back and forward there's a handle underneath which makes it really easy but this is also something I find very clever. That is a, a harness which you buy part of their accessories for a little dog. The Kodiak is loosely built on the structure of the Seat Attacker and the VW Tiguan. However, it's obviously bigger and I think it's better than both. Which brings us on to what I liked the most. And I'll start with how it drives. This is the DSG gearbox, 2 litre, 190 horsepower. You're never going to want for any more power. It's great. However, the power is either on or not on. And that's something unusual you'll need to get used to because I think in this particular car there's a bit of turbo lag which could be adjusted. On the flip side, however, there is something very good which I liked and immediately noticed when I got in and shut the door. And that is the sound deadening. You can hear the rest of the world has kind of gone. For a car at this price, that's really impressive. Because at its lightest, weighing only 124 kilos more than a Ford Focus, even a 1.4 petrol engine will be enough. This one is the two litre diesel. All of them come with five or seven seats and even a manual if you want one. Naturally, in a modern car today that isn't, say, a Jaguar, for instance, access to things like your Spotify and your podcast and so on is very easy. You just plug the phone in and it's automatic. It also comes with a very nice feature which was originally invented by BMW called Send to Car. So if you're in the office, you can send a route from your computer or your phone to the car. When you get in, it's already done. I love that. My only concern is the lack of kit that you get for free. Now, if you were going to get the cheapest one, for instance, you would still be getting a very good quality car that drives beautifully, but it'll have nothing on it. However, I do like this. That's the voice thing. Isn't it? Clanad. Running one will be cost efficient, a major service at 20,000 only costing 279 pounds and that's across all models. Benefiting kind averages around 2,200 for 20% taxpayers and the VED is cheap. Surprisingly though, things like radar crews and even some additional safety features are extra. And so what you see is not always what you get. Not only that, but there are 11 different types of Kodiak to choose from, and that makes it, well, a bit confusing because only some of the models allow you to have some of the spec on it. For instance, when I looked, I couldn't order the cheapest one and have a panoramic roof. Slightly annoying. This, however, isn't. This is gesture control, which You've only now already seen in a 7 Series. I'm going to show you something else. If I go to media, 
That's my phone, Bluetooth, through Spotify. Look at that. You should be able to change the tracks just doing that. Look at that. Impressed? You should be. But by now, you might be wondering if there's anything else that this car can do. Something a little more adventurous. Dare I say, dangerous. This is the What Car SUV of the Year. And there's only one way to find out if it can really cut the mustard. Taking on one of the most treacherous courses the world has ever seen. Okay, so we only found a field. And I'm not even sure whose it is, but it did give us the chance to prove that you can drive it on the grass and that it's not just good, but also, in fact, very versatile. And for that reason, I would probably give this the award for the most fun per pound car you can get. The other car that I've done that I put into that category would be the Golf R, but I would put this ahead because you can't do this in a Golf R. Then there's the fact that this is rated as one of the best performing cars in the snow. It does 38 miles to the gallon, has intuitive voice activated nav, and a host of unique accessories and ideas. So if this was actually a bear, it would be a very clever one indeed.